The tech market is cooked. Qualcomm is planning to cut more than 1,200 jobs. Google, Amazon, and Snap are among the companies continuing to downsize. Microsoft eliminating 300 more jobs just weeks after cutting thousands last month. This report from the New York Federal Reserve shows the college degrees with the highest unemployment rate for 2025. And right here, almost at the top of the list, you see computer engineering and computer science. The same degrees that once were supposed to make you a bunch of money. Basically everybody else I know who's graduated is unemployed. So what happened? Why did the tech market collapse? Everyone's talking about AI and over hiring, but there's this one law, this tiny, boring tax change that no one is talking about. A small change from years ago that completely destroyed the tech market. So back in 2017, the Trump administration passed the largest corporate tax reform in a generation. The tax cut, 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 cut bill. Buried in this law is this little thing called Section 174. And this one clause would quietly come back to wreck the entire tech market five years later. Here's what it changed. Before the law, if a company spent money on R&D, so things like building software and hiring engineers, they could write off all of that immediately as a business expense. Makes sense, right? As employees, software engineers are the company's biggest expense. So the more engineers it hires, the more expenses it can claim. And the more expenses it can claim, the less tax it has to pay. But the change in section 174 said that starting in 2022, companies could no longer deduct that year's R&D costs altogether. Instead, they had to amortize these costs. Basically, they had to gradually write them off over a span of five years. Let me give you an example of how that works. Let's say I have a tech company that sells Nicolas Cage deepfakes. Yeah! And this year, my company spent $5 million on salaries for software engineers. Before this change, I would claim all $5 million at once. But now I can only deduct 1 million this year. And the rest, I would spread out over the next four years. This might sound like some boring thing that doesn't really matter, but this small change fundamentally ruined the tech market. Because on paper, engineers suddenly looked a lot more expensive, especially if you were hiring new ones straight out of college, who you had to train and hope would pay off long term. So what do companies do? They started cutting R&D hiring, especially at the junior level. Since the section 174 changes came into effect in 2022, over 350,000 tech workers have been laid off. The pace of layoffs has slowed down, but there's still been more than 22,000 layoffs so far this year. And the ones most affected are entry-level engineers. Beginner positions have been almost impossible to get into. People are often applying to hundreds, sometimes thousands of jobs before they get hired. Now granted, a lot of those jobs they're applying to aren't real. They're actually fake job postings that the companies make to look good. I covered that in a previous video, which you can check out after this one. So this law passed in 2017 basically ruined the hopes of hundreds and thousands of entry-level developers to try to get a job out of college. But there is actually a bill in Congress right now that's trying to undo this damage. So-called big beautiful bill. The one big beautiful bill has some insane stuff in there, like cutting access to Medicaid for poor people who can work but aren't. But it would also reverse the 2017 change to section 174. It would let companies immediately deduct the entire cost of R&D together, like they were able to before. This would make it financially easier for companies to start hiring again, especially junior engineers. But it hasn't passed yet, and if it does, all that other stuff does too. So it's your choice. Do you want cuts to Medicaid or an easier time getting a job? I love it here. Now, I have a computer science degree, and I've taught people how to code, so I'm a big fan of coding. I like how it can transform your brain to think more logically and problem solve -y. But honestly, the tech market right now looks like it's never been worse. I've had multiple students ask me directly, what's the point of me even learning this if I'm not guaranteed to get a job? And I reassured them like, yeah, it's gonna get better. There's always gonna be more opportunity, who knows? But we can't ignore that there's some deep system-wide issues going on right now. But I guess the first thing we can do is just know what's happening. So if you're a student or a junior developer trying to break into the market, drop your experiences in the comments. I actually wanna hear how bad is it out there. Also share this video with anyone who's struggling to get a job as a software engineer right now. They need to know that it's not just their fault. It's more of a system-wide market problem. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.